Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and today I want to talk about games that you might like to play if you like Elden Ring. Now of course Elden Ring right now is the talk of the town. It is a fantastic title. I have been having a blast with it. So many people are enjoying this and it's actually been fantastic to see so many more people playing this that perhaps wouldn't normally have dabbled in these types of games. However, if you have completed it and you have the itch and you're now thinking, what else can I play now that I've finished Elden Ring? Here are some titles that may well scratch that itch. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know if there are any other games that you think belong in this list based on that criteria. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more. So to begin with, let's start off with the Demon Souls remake. Obviously, if you like Elden Ring for what it is at its core, a Soulsborne title, then you can't really go wrong with the brand new Demon Souls remake. Of course, the original Souls game, the game that set the template for the harrowing landscapes, the creepy as hell bosses, and of course, From Software's signature punishing combat loops. If you want to see where it all began, this is essential for your collection. And of course, thanks to the remake, it is now a fantastic way to experience that title. Not to say you can't go back and play the old one, but it is still fantastic. Although I will say, the most challenging boss in this is trying to get a PS5. That being said, of course, Demon Souls is set in Boletaria, a kingdom consumed by a dark being called the Old One following its release through the use of Forbidden Soul Arts. The player takes in the role of a hero brought to Boletaria to kill its fallen king, Alant, and to pacify the Old One. Of course, if you played it, you'll be familiar with this, but gameplay, of course, has the player navigating five different worlds from a hub called the Nexus, with, of course, the heavy emphasis on challenging combat and mechanics surrounding player death and respawning. Do of course keep in mind if you come into Elden Ring and this is your first experience, the older games are not necessarily quite as open, but if you want to go back to the beginning, then consider giving this a try. Moving on from there to Breath of the Wild, one of my all-time favourite games and a game that has had a huge influence on Elden Ring. While of course it is not a Soulsborne title, Elden Ring took a lot of inspiration for its open world and its sense of discovery from Breath of the Wild, so it's only fair to include this in this list. While of course Breath of the Wild is much older now, it does of course have its own issues and it's probably starting to show its age in a few areas, it is definitely one of the finest showcases of how important a strong world design is in influencing the way that we interact with our games. Breath of the Wild of course is not the first open world title we've had many open world games before but Breath of the Wild did do things in a way that no other game had done before and those elements definitely worked their way into Elden Ring's discovery promoting much more organic exploration and discovery as opposed to a lot more traditional hand-holding. This of course results in a massive sense of wonderment when you discover new and unforeseen things so you could go as far as to say that Elden Ring took the idea and almost perfected the formula. Of course, moving on from there, we have Sekiro, again, for those of you guys looking for a punishing fix, and probably one of my favourite From Software titles. It is, of course, more linear, but this introduced us to the posture system, which we've seen make ripples through countless other games. You, of course, play as a character named Wolf, who gets wrapped up in an intriguing plot set in the Sengoku period, armed with a ninja prosthetic, you use stealth and cunning work to cut your way through Ashina Castle. Again, if you're looking for a challenging fix off the back of Elden Ring, then definitely do not sleep on this title. We then have Phoenix Rising, and while admittedly this is not necessarily the strongest entry on the list, it does still deserve a mention. Immortal Phoenix Rising has you playing as Phoenix on its quest to take down the fearsome Typhon, and the game features a very similar exploration style to Breath of the Wild, with a combat system that is closer to DMC. And while of course it does not have the same sense of discovery and wonderment when you compare it to things like Breath of the Wild or of course Elden Ring, if you are looking for a nice vibrant open world with lots of exciting different biomes, and of course a fun combat system, perhaps consider checking this out. Then we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Ragnarok. Of course, if you like your open world games, admittedly in the more traditional sense, this does not necessarily have the same sense of discovery that you get in Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild because this follows the more traditional formula of here's a bunch of things on the map, go and do them, go explore, go find some secrets. That being said, Valhalla is a fantastic game if you like your Vikings, if you like your Norse mythology. It of course has a fun combat system with plenty of weapons to choose from and the brand new Ragnarok expansion delves deeper into the more mythical aspects of the game and sees you venturing to some truly wonderful biomes. So if you do want a big world to explore, then this is an option. And so too is Ghost of Tsushima, another fantastic game and one that you definitely should not sleep on. This too has a fantastic open world and I feel like this one falls sort of almost halfway house between the traditional open world with a bunch of objects on the map and the opposing side with things like Breath of the Wild and Elden Ring. Ghost of Tsushima does in certain situations hold your hand but it's also set up in such a way that does promote organic discovery, of course roaming the world, following the wind, interacting with animals that will lead you to hidden and secret caves which to a degree you could even say that Elden Ring took notes from when you look at say the uh, mystical candles that you can interact with and you then follow a spirit guide that will lead you to a cave. So there's definitely elements of that that run through Ghost of Tsushima and it's also just a fantastic game. It has incredible vistas, incredible scenery, incredible worlds to explore, fantastic combat. It is honestly such a fantastic title so 
if you want something to explore, then this is one. Of course, we then have Neo 2. This is another fantastic game for those of you that like the challenging combat system. Similar to its predecessor, Neo 2, of course, is the action role playing game. Players can create their own playable character, who, of course, has a yokai spirit. You're equipped with a variety of weapons, such as Odachi, Kusarigama, Katana, all those different things like that. You can earn new skills, special abilities as you progress. And of course, when the players defeat hostile yokai, some of them drop a soul core, and these allow players to use yokai abilities once these cores are purified. Basically, at its core, it is a punishingly difficult game that too will send you back to start many, many times again to go and collect your equivalent of souls. So if you like the core formula, this is fantastic. And this game also plays incredibly well in co-op. And then finally, The Witcher. Of course, in this list, we are speaking, largely speaking, either about punishing difficult games or open world games. And it would be remiss of us to mention those games without speaking about The Witcher. This, of course, is a fantastic title. And The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt sees players control Geralt of Rivia, who is a monster slayer known as a Witcher. Walk, run, roll, and dodge throughout the environment. Of course, climbing, jumping, exploring battling huge terrifying creatures, getting involved in fantastic stories, interesting characters, and a very rewarding combat system, this too is a fantastic title that if you have not played, you 100% should. Definitely leaning more so onto the RPG side of things, but with of course your healthy dose of action combat. So there you have it, a little list of a few titles that you might consider checking out if you have finished Elden Ring and you're looking for something to scratch that similar itch. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these titles. Let me know if there are other games you think belong in this list. And if you haven't caught our most recent video, be sure to check out this one and keep it locked on the channel for plenty more.